air composite pipeline in reality is not very different from the virtual set compositing. Except you don't need reality gear setup and have to do some minor adjustments. Here is our car blueprint asset ready to import as an AR in our studio. You can lit your actor here and can utilize one of the four lighting channels available. But for this video, I am going to place my lights directly from our graph editor. Let's check it out. Right after you launch your level, you can see these two nodes here. Our car blueprint and engine node. As our video IO, tracking and projection setup is not very different than virtual set compositing pipeline and you can check the virtual setup video from the link mentioned in the description. Let's jump to other important steps. The camera node required input from post process node. Let's add one. Right click onto the post process node and add an input pin for the post process material. It is important to have one of this as it comes with different material presets that fits for different scenarios. I am going to choose Reality Shadow AO as I want my lights cast shadows of my 3D assets in physical environment and also have nice contact shadows. Let's connect the post process tracking pin to the track modifier. We need to undistort the video before projection, so let's add undistort node and connect the pins shown in the video. Now for the final composite, add composite passes node. It receives render input from camera output, video from delay node, tracking from the track modifier and lighting input from shadow pass of the camera node. Now connect the output to the channel 1 of the mixer node. I already saved my R graph with some fine tunes, let's open it. I also add two lights to lit my AR graphics and you can do the same by just right click and search for the directional or point light. We just need to select a light channel for each of our light. Connect the multiviewer out to the video of Aja out node. In order to see shadow pass separately, you can connect your shadow out pin to the channel 2 of the mixer node. You can adjust your lighting and shadows according to your physical environment. As you don't always require all the passes together, so you can turn them off and on from the engine control. As we have two lights and each has its own channel red and green, so from the post-process material node, you can control the shadows individually for each light. You can also control the additional ambient occlusion pass from here. Projection material is another important thing which can be masked, lit masked, and translucent according to your requirement. For this setup, AR with shadows, I have selected lit mask. You can add few color correction nodes to blend both foreground and backgrounds together.
Reality Engine Community Edition comes with a great feature that you can remove the watermark for the whole 5 minutes. Let's do it and check our final output. 